Hello, this is Trader Low. Uh, this is a short uh, introduction to trading and technical analysis um, series. Um, so, what is trading? Basically, uh, it's buying an asset, at, um, yeah, preferably a good spot. So, let's say here, and trying to sell it higher. Uh, it can actually be um, selling it high, trying to buy it back lower. I make the, the money on the difference, but yeah. Uh, so this is a chart with candlesticks of the price of Bitcoin uh, in October to the start of November uh, last year. Uh, we are now on the one hour, meaning that one candle here. So these are candlesticks. That's the most usual um, candle price indicator to, um, to use when um, I'm doing charting. Uh, so this is a graph showing the price movement uh, during this time period. Each candle, candlestick, uh, represents one hour. So let's just dig into one candle and explain. Um, so let's do this candle, this green one. So basically at the start of the hour, so after this hour was done, this is the new hour. Uh, price was um, 13,350-ish, yeah, here. Um, during this hour, we don't see uh, where price moved up and down within, uh, within the hour, but it never went below here. We saw now, now uh, a, can, a small wick below, so it opened here, never went below this, and within this hour, it closed up here. So before ticking over to the next hour, price went all the way up to 13,548.49. So we see the next hour started here, and during this hour, uh, price moved a little bit higher. It even went uh, all the way down here. But the next hour closed here. Uh, so we don't know how price moved within this hour, but they never moved outside of this range. And then jump to the next candle. So this next hour opened and closed pretty much at the same spot, but they moved within this range. So these are candlesticks and um, they form uh, the chart, the graph like this. And make some candlestick patterns and interesting stuff. Um, so um, we use this um, this graph and to try to predict where price is going. Uh, in this example, we have a trend, meaning that the price is uh, pretty much uh, giving um, higher lows with some exceptions like here, but more or less going up. So this is a, a local uptrend on the one hour. And if we're do, uh, zooming out, so this is still one hour, but in higher time frames, so if we're looking at daily candles, price is pretty much in a heavy uptrend pair. Uh, so we can expect uh, more or less price to make um, high lows, high lows, and with some exceptions, um, with some uh, retracements, higher highs also. So here, uh, we made a higher high than this, uh, but on this retracement to the previous high, they did a small rejection. So price did a local reversal back and did another higher low. But later, they actually broke this high again and made a new higher high. And later, a new higher low of this. So price is moving in this direction. So with TA, we are trying to predict where price is going. Um, we will learn some, uh, some scenarios where it's more likely that price is going up than down. And that is what TA is all about 
uh, it's predicting where price is going. Um, when I'm trading and most of this community I'm from, we are not uh, looking at uh, stuff called indicators when we're trading. Uh, we are only looking at the price movement and the uh, likelihood and the, um, the rules, you can say, with when it's more likely to go up than down. We are expecting um, that if we um, make a new local high like this, so this is the previous high, this is a new high, we are more or less expecting them to also make a lower, uh, higher low if they come back to this area, but it's not certain, it's just um, more likely. And in some scenarios, uh, it's more likely than others, but we'll come back to that. 